Hi, and today we're going to be reading How to Put Your Parents to Bed by Melissa Larson. I know, you are not tired. You could scale a tall tower, you could sail savage seas, you could paint a masterpiece. It's bedtime, but bed is the last place you want to be. Adventures are out there waiting, but have you looked at your parents? Poor things, just between you and me, they are not looking their best. They need to go to bed. Parents are not good at going to bed. I have to put in a load of laundry, they say. I need to do the dishes. Just one more email. It's one excuse after another with them. You need to take charge. Take the plate out of their hands, gently close the computer, tell them it's time for bed. Start with brushing teeth. They will argue. They will say they'll do it later. Squeeze out the toothpaste and get them brushing. Help them if you can. Those back molars can be hard to reach. Next, get them into their pajamas. You will be amazed how long this takes. Parents get distracted by the smallest things. Phones, magazines, TV. Be patient. Keep them moving towards the bedroom. If you let them sit down, they will fall asleep anywhere. Sleeping parents are extremely hard to move. Some of them snore. Now, some parents become unruly when faced with actually getting in bed. Tiny things upset them. They can work themselves into a state. Remain calm. Do not negotiate. It's time for bed. The next part is tricky. Stories. Parents love stories at bedtime, but they can get set in their ways. They may insist on only hearing their favorites. If they are used to three stories, they want three stories. Not two, not one. No surprises. You would think that at this point you are almost there. Your parents are in bed, teeth brushed, pajamas on, stories read. But this is when something unexpected always comes up. Their favorite pillow is missing. They want to check on the dog. Their socks itch. Tell yourself that this is almost over. Handle each incident calmly. Tuck them in. Kiss them goodnight. Remind your parents that they are not to make phone calls when you leave the room. Better yet, take their cell phones. Close the door. Listen to make sure they're quiet. Take a bow. You have gotten your parents off to bed. Now you can finally enjoy some time for yourself. But just between you and me, you're not looking your best. You look exhausted. Maybe you need to go to bed. The end.